Hi everyone, I am here to do my 14 week vlog. Um, I will officially be 14 weeks tomorrow, but um, since today, I have ultrasound today, my doctor's appointment today, and I don't know if I feel like doing it tomorrow. And I just decided to do my video today, a day early, because well, everything's fresh in my mind since it just happened. I want to talk about how the ultrasound went, and how the doctor's appointment went, and everything like that. But first, I'm going to, um, of course, read what is going on this week for 14 weeks. Like I said, I'll be 14 weeks tomorrow. Um, so it says, for 14 weeks, during this week of pregnancy, the hormonal changes in your body are becoming more apparent. In addition to your linea nigra, the dark line from your abdomen to your, to your pubic bone, the areola, dark part of your nipple area, may have gotten darker and larger. This is normal as your body readies itself for your baby and breastfeeding. Your baby is the size of a nectarine. And it shows what a nectarine looks like. Um, your baby measures about 3.5 to 4 inches long from crown to rump and at this point your baby weighs about one ounce. The baby also has also started secreting hormones of its own from its mature thyroid gland. Its body systems are also starting to work on their own. The digestive system is practicing moving food from the intestines while the renal system is creating and eliminating urine. Your baby also continues to practice breathing the amniotic fluid through its lungs. In addition, he or she has developed soft nails on its fingers and toes. Your baby's blood is also starting to form in its bone marrow and blood vessels. Its hands continue to develop as well and are becoming more functional. As the eyes and ears continue to move into place, the baby's mouth has gone through major development. The sucking muscles are growing strong and the salivary glands are also fully developed. The esophagus, windpipe, and larynx should also be present by the end of this week. And it shows a little 3D ultrasound of someone's baby baby at 14 weeks. You guys should compare basically get an idea of what your baby should look like now. And I can say from um, looking at this 3D ultrasound and comparing the ultrasound I had today that this is pretty accurate. This is basically what my baby seemed to look like at the ultrasound. Of course I didn't have a 3D. I had a regular black and white um, one. Okay so first thing I'm talking about is how the ultrasound went because that's the first thing I had done and then right after that I had my, my um, daughter's appointment which was, wasn't very eventful, so the most eventful part was ultrasound. Um, I was a little late because of traffic, but I had an early morning one. Um, I asked when I first got in there and laid down, I was getting getting it done in the very beginning, I asked them, could I record? Because I would have loved to show you guys, but she said no, I could not record. Um, it's very like funny, it's very rare that you can find a place to actually let you record. Like when I was pregnant with twins and beginning my pregnancy, if you go back on, on those videos, you'll see I had like a 13 week um, ultrasound done. I was actually able to record that ultrasound um, at that place in New York. Um, but that was like the only place I ever found with any of my, um, my pregnancies that actually let me record ultrasounds and stuff like that on my own camera. So they didn't let me record. Um, but I was just like focusing on the baby and what was going on with the baby. I was so happy to see him or her. See how big they got. Um, they got very big compared to the last, the first little son I had when it was just like a, you know, basically like, looked like kind of like a ball. Um, fully developed, not, you know, fully developed for like a whole pregnancy, but arms, legs, um, head, everything like that looked great. It seemed like um, he or she was sleeping the entire time because they barely moved. Um, yeah, so I think the ultrasound technician said, I think this may be a girl because um, she's being she's being very good. <laughs> Basically, like, boys are bad and girls are good. Uh, what else happened? So she just, uh, she said, um, she first put the thing on my stomach. She said she wanted to get all her measurements out the way right then and there because the baby was in a perfect position for her to get all her measurements there. So that's the first thing she did, Mish measure everything. When I got my first ultrasound done, I was measuring, like, three days behind what I should have been. Um, the baby was measuring like three days behind, but this time the baby was measuring spot on. I am 13 weeks and six days today, and the ba baby was measuring 13 weeks and six days. So that is great. I'm glad that um, baby caught up and is doing well. Um, we got to see the heartbeat, and we got to hear the heartbeat. Um, like I said, she, he or she, I keep saying she automatically because I want a girl, so I keep saying she. If I say she, don't assume it's a girl. I just be used to saying that. Um, baby wasn't really moving too much. Um, 
like I said, I think she was sleeping or whatever. And um, in my past videos, I was talking about how I couldn't really um, get the heartbeat on the ultrasound. I mean, on the Doppler, and I found it at one time. Ever since that one time of that video posted, I was like 12 weeks and three days. I have not been able to find a heartbeat since then. But like I said, all I can hear is like the swish of the umbilical cord, and I can hear the baby moving around. Come to find out, it's because my placenta is right in front of my uterus. That is the very first time I've ever had a placenta um, be right in front like that. All my other babies and pregnancies, all my placentas were in the back, all of them. This is the first time I had one that's right in the front. So when she told me that, I said, that's probably why I haven't been able to find a heartbeat too well on my dial. She said, that's exactly why. Because um, the placenta is right in front and you won't be able to feel baby's kicks. Um, you won't. She said it was a good thing. She said you won't feel baby's kicks. It's hard. But I look at it as like a downside kind of because like now it's probably going to take me even longer to really feel strong kicks from this baby because now I got the placenta like cushioning those movements and kicks and stuff. So um, it's kind of sad that, you know, I'll have to wait longer. But just how it is, as long as the baby's healthy, I'm happy about that. Um, <clears throat> what else? Um, yeah, so all she did was just measure and then uh, she took pictures. She took them um, like four pictures for me. Um, I think the baby moved like a couple of times. One time she moved the doctor a little bit. You could see the hand up by the face. Looked like um, the hand was like up like here, right here, and it looked like the baby was waving. And then she went to the bottom, and the baby's feet was like um, curled up. Say this is the two legs. One leg was like that, and the other one was like this, going across it like that. So it was like squatting kind of with the legs. Um, what else? Yeah, everything else looked good. I told her, I said, um, I know it's a little early to try to figure out the um, sex of the baby, but can you like take a look down there and um, take a guess and see? She said she could take a look. Um, and I, I said, I know, of course, I won't, you know, take it as this being the gender of the baby. I, you know, I know we won't be able to find out till the fifth month. She said, yes, exactly. So she took a look down there. And she said um, she didn't see anything um, sticking up. Um, she didn't see anything at all sticking up, so who knows, it may be a girl, but she said don't really go off of that because when she was pregnant with her son and the early ultrasound, like around 13 weeks, she had her ultrasound around then. She didn't see, they, um, they didn't see anything sticking up then, but then later on at the five month ultrasound, they found out it was a boy actually, so. We're still at the I don't know phase, I thought about have like a good idea of what it may be right now, but no. Still have no, no idea, of course I'm still hoping for a girl. So I really want, but of course, if I get a boy, it's fine too, as long as it's a healthy baby. But hoping for a girl. Um, so yeah, it wasn't too much else going on right here at this ultrasound. Um, so I'll just show you the pictures now. The, the head, I think that's like the brain area. Um, the stomach, the arms like down here a little bit. The leg, the head, and looks like kind of like smiling. <laughs> you see the arm right here, and the hand is right here. So, that is what baby looks like now. Like I said, it's grown a lot since that first ultrasound. Um, you know, it's kind of sad I didn't get to get a video, but I'll try again maybe next time if I get another ultrasound technician. Um, hopefully I get, um, they'll let me record then um, for my gender ultrasound, which will be happening in six weeks, in exactly six more weeks. I will be here to find out what this baby is. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Um, by the way, I think I'll be exactly 20 weeks then. Um, after my ultrasound, I went to see my doctor. And, you know, I didn't. I thought that she was going to, like, check me or try to listen to the heartbeat. or She didn't do anything. She just talked to me. Congratulations. I asked how the ultrasound went. I told her the ultrasound went great. Baby's measuring fine. She asked me about my weight gain. I gained, like, 10 pounds already from the beginning of this pregnancy. Um, until now and I told her she because she never she hasn't seen me with all my pregnancies she's only seen me at the end of my my twin pregnancy and this one um, all my other pregnancies um, were in New York with a different doctor and the beginning of my twin pregnancy was in New York so that doctor knew my history what happens with my pregnancies 
is in the beginning of all my pregnancies I gained like a mass not a massive but most of my weight is weight gain is gained in the beginning and the middle of the pregnancy so when I start moving towards the end of the pregnancy is when my weight starts tapering off and actually starts coming off and I start losing weight a little bit or or I just stay at the, or I just stay at the same weight it's like I'm losing weight but my weight like doesn't move on the scale so like that was happening with my twin pregnancy at the end like I said she didn't see me until the end of that pregnancy and she noticed I was losing weight and she was like basically trying to accuse me of doing it on purpose like I was purposely trying to lose weight while I'm pregnant by the way who does that no I was not purposely losing weight I was eating same way I was eating to begin the pregnancy nothing changed so I tried to explain that to her this today I was like remember you tried to accuse me of of, of losing weight on purpose while I was pregnant I'm trying to tell you that it does not happen in the beginning I gained a lot of weight in my pregnancies and at the end it starts tapering off all by itself I don't do anything different as far as my eating habits or working out anything like that so she said okay that's fine we'll see how it does with this pregnancy or whatever like that so I was like fine and she told me I should um, lay off like rice starches and stuff like that eat more meats like um, chicken and stuff like that which I do eat already a lot of so I don't know um, what else did we talk about? Um, yeah, so basically she just said next time I have to come back in three more weeks and I have to get my, um, blood test done for like when they test for abnormalities. Um, so I have to come back for that, um, in three weeks. And I also have to take my one hour glucose test. I have to take it early to actually schedule me for one hour glucose test and since the beginning, very beginning of my pregnancy because something happened when my um, blood sugar was a little high. Oh yeah, it was like one point over my blood sugar when they first tested me when I was like seven weeks. So since then they had me scheduled on the computer for a one hour glucose test since I was seven weeks but I haven't went yet. So since I had to go there early in the morning for that blood test all right, and, and the blood test is the same exact office as the, um, the one hour glucose test would be done at. So I figured I'd just get them both done at the same time. Um, and I saw the doctor that and she said that's fine. Not looking forward to that. Um, what else? And I got my finger prick today. I told you guys in the past today I was supposed to do that finger prick thing at home. Completely forgot about it. I was like whatever but they ended up doing it at the office today for me anyway. They had their own packet and just did it for me today so I got that finger prick. It's basically when they pick your finger, put the blood on the paper and it's like a down syndrome test or whatever. And I'll get the results back for that for another week or so. They're supposed to call me back with those results. So that is basically everything that happened today. Um, like I said, I was really happy with all the sound. So I was so excited about seeing the baby. I was like excited and a little bit nervous also that just praying everything will be all right and baby's doing doing just fine. Oh yeah, and by the way, um, I came up with a nickname for the baby because um, my son Junior, he um, one day said, "Mommy, is there a baby in your belly?" I said, "Yeah," because he already knew this, but he was just saying that. And I said, "Yeah." He said, "Well, um, can I get the baby a name?" I said, "Sure." He said, um, I think I'll name the baby Squishy. <laughs> so, ever since then, we've been nicknaming the baby Squishy. So that's the baby's new nickname, Squishy. Until we, um, I guess, well, probably the whole pregnancy. I was going to say until we find out the sex, but that's the baby's nickname. Probably even after the baby comes out, we still going to be calling him or her Squishy because of him. <laughs> so, yeah, Squishy. Um, for, um, I think that's about it for this week. Everything else went great. I am feeling great. Um. As far as symptoms go, um, my year, my uh, go, frequent bathroom trips have gone down a lot, so I'm still going a little bit more than normal, but it's not as, as frequent, which is good, uh, which is also what they say when you get out of your first trimester, which, by the way, I'm out of my first trimester, yay, into my second trimester. I asked the lady today, um, since so it's like a debate over it, is 13 weeks your first, your second, consider your second trimester, or is 14 weeks consider your second trimester? She said it's like 13 weeks in three days. It was like in the middle of both. So that's what the nurse said. So I'll go by that I guess. So I'm in my second trimester actually even if it wasn't, even if they said it was fourteen weeks, I'll be fourteen weeks tomorrow. So in my second trimester, the first trimester seemed to fly by like so quickly. Even my husband said the same thing. He said, he said, You've done this so much I didn't even notice <laughs> how fast the first trimester went by. So yeah. Um that is it. I guess I'll show you guys my belly now. So here is 14 weeks. Um, pretty huge. Like the baby is all the way down here. And like my belly was already big to to begin with. Like not flat. It was kind of big already. Um, so of course when you get pregnant, your belly starts protruding down here. 
up here starts with shooting too. So that's just what's, what's going on right here. But yeah, this is it. All right, that is it for this week. Um, as always, I thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for next week. I'll see you next time. Bye.